The world is entering an energy crisis more urgent than anything humanity has faced before. Oil reserves are dwindling, the climate is shifting rapidly, and the hunger for electricity only grows stronger each year. But rising above fields and oceans, there is one towering machine, as tall as a 30-story skyscraper, that dares to transform something invisible, the restless wind, into light that powers millions of homes across nations. Behind its graceful white blades lies a brutal and extraordinary journey. Rivers of molten steel glowing red hot, blades longer than jetliner's wings, convoys struggling through mountain passes, and cranes taller than skyscrapers lifting hundreds of tons into the open sky. A wind turbine isn't just another machine. It is a monument to our survival, a weapon against climate change. But to understand this modern giant, we must first travel back in time to the first wooden windmills that changed civilization. Bonnie. In medieval Europe, wooden windmills stood like sentinels over farmlands, grinding grain and pumping water for entire communities. They were crude, but they represented freedom, the power to turn air itself into energy. The principle remains the same today, though the scale has become staggering. A turbine blade acts like an airplane wing, only turned on its side. When the wind rushes past, air pressure creates lift, forcing the blade to spin. That rotation drives a colossal shaft, which powers a gearbox and finally produces electricity. From fragile blades carved by hand to modern fiberglass giants stretching longer than a football field, the evolution of wind power is a story of persistence and human genius. And to harness this invisible force on such a scale, humanity needed a material even stronger than stone, steel. seen in searing furnaces hotter than volcanic magma. Steel is melted and forged into the unshakable skeleton of the turbine. Each tower soars more than 300 feet into the sky. To anchor that weight, engineers bury thousands of tons of steel and concrete deep beneath the earth. Precision here is critical. A misalignment of just inches could doom a turbine in the next storm. Engineers often compare this to planting a colossal tree. Without deep roots, the trunk collapses. Push it in. The foundation is those just roots. Gripping bedrock with unwavering strength for decades to come. Once the foundation is laid, the tower begins to rise like a steel cathedral piercing the horizon.
sites. In massive factories, steel plates thicker than your hand are bent into perfect cylinders, then welded together with robotic arms guided by lasers. Every seam is inspected. Every millimeter matters. Each tower section stretches nearly 100 feet long and tips the scale at over 100,000 pounds. When stacked, they form a vertical spine that slices into the clouds. Inside, these towers aren't hollow shells. They hide ladders, high voltage cables, and even elevators that carry technicians 30 stories into the sky. Stepping inside feels less like entering a machine and more like walking into the heart of a man-made cathedral. Shai Steel. This is where engineering turns into art. In workshops the size of airplane hangars, workers spread layer upon layer of fiberglass, saturating it with resin, and mold it inside casts that dwarf a city bus. When complete, each blade is nearly 260 feet long, longer than the wingspan of a Boeing 747. Stand one on end, and it would rival a 30-story skyscraper. The surface is coated to resist sun, rain, salt spray, and even lightning strikes. Technicians scan every inch with ultrasound and lasers, because a single flaw at the tip, spinning at 200 miles per hour, could tear an entire blade to shreds. To build one is to forge a weapon of the future. Flawless. Enormous and mercilessly strong. The wings are ready. Now the turbine needs a beating heart. On top of the steel tower sits the nacelle, a steel and fiberglass box the size of a school bus. This is the heart of the turbine. Inside lies the main shaft, a gearbox bigger than a pickup truck, and the generator itself weighing more than a jet engine. These parts must endure decades of non-stop motion, from freezing blizzards to scorching summers. The nacelle is both brain and heart. If it fails, the turbine dies. But built right, it beats in rhythm with the wind for 30 years, generating power day and night. But before it can breathe life, it must survive its deadliest trial, transportation. Forging the blades was hard. Moving them is harder. An 80 meter blade snakes through narrow roads, like a serpent of fiberglass. Convoys crawl through mountains at night, each turn measured by inches. A single wrong move could snap a blade worth millions in half. It's not logistics, it's choreography. A dance of steel and asphalt requiring military-level precision. And once the convoy finally arrives, it's time to summon a giant from the earth. All right, we've got the full schematics here. Hi, 
here. In open plains and rolling hills, cranes taller than skyscrapers lift tower sections into the air. Piece by piece, the turbine is assembled. The nacelle is raised and locked on top. Then, one by one, the blades are lifted, suspended like giant swords, and bolted onto the hub. When the last blade locks into place, the machine awakens as a colossus. Standing beneath it, you realize its scale. The blades carve through the air like titans, each sweep as wide as a city block. And then, the moment of truth. The wind begins to turn the blades. Right, let's get it in position now. Just a little more.
as the blade spin, the shaft turns and electricity flows. The invisible wind becomes light in our homes, power in our factories, and hope for our children's future. One turbine can power more than 1,000 households. A farm of turbines can energize entire cities. But they are more than machines. They are monuments of survival, symbols of our fight against a warming planet. Yet the great question remains, can we build enough of these giants in time to save the Earth? From wooden windmills grinding grain in the 13th century to steel titans humming in the 21st, humanity has always sought to tame the wind. Each turbine is part history, part science, and part hope, standing tall as guardians of the future. If one turbine can light a village, thousands together can change the destiny of nations. Join us at 360 Global Process where we take you inside the world's most hidden industries and discover the machines shaping tomorrow. Subscribe, because the future is being built right now.